It's Christmas. Glad that on since Christmas, you tram. Oh, well, I'm going to use out of it. It probably won't be Christmas this year. <laughs> Nothing else is happening, is it? So I'll get my use out of it now. Beans on toast. What, for Christmas dinner? Yeah. <laughs> it will be a windy Christmas. It always is. Right, it's going to rain as well. This is, in a way, a Simbin surfer, but that's not on at the minute, so it's half a Simbin. <laughs> it's uh, a lockdown surfer. Yeah, there you go. Lockdown cooking, but we've got something that we got for the Simbin surfer and we're using that. So what we're we doing? We are doing Spice and Easy's take on pasta bake. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get on and let's cook it. So, ingredients. These were Simbins. I've already had some of them for me dinner. Two quid reduced from four lot. Savloys. Oi, oi, Savloy. No reply for that. That's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> Down <laughs> south. Oi, oi, Savloy. I don't know what it means. I must look it up. Mm. I'll be swearing at somebody. Yes. Uh, now there's two, four, <coughs> six, seven there, but we ain't going to use seven because of the whackers. I'm going to take the skins off because the skins will come off when they're in the oven. And then you see all the little brown skinny bits that you yeah. won't eat and you'll sit picking them out. Cheapo, pasta, twists, twirls, wigglies, uh, spirals. Uh, spirals, yeah, that's what I said. You didn't? No, I said it the other way, as in twists. Um, one, spice and easy bolognese pack. It's not got a label on because I've just made it up. No, I've not made it up, it's just been put together. It's not made up, it's real. Um, chopped fresh parsley and fresh oregano. I'm not going to need all of that, but we're going to use what I need. The rest will go in a little sandwich bag and freeze it. Tip there, you can freeze your herbs if you don't need them all. So I'm... Um, Green peppers, now these are not your big whacking peppers, these are long, the long ones look like massive chilies, but they're not. The peppers, you can use whatever you want for them. Medium onion, finely chopped, and chilies. Chilies. Because it's spicy and easy, we've got to do something spicy in it. Can of chopped tomatoes, some tomato puree, these are to make the pack up, and then before it goes in the oven, I'm going to stir a bit of fromage fry in, natural one, just to give it a bit of creaminess, and then we'll grate some cheese over. So all that's left is nothing. You can put it together and cook it. Is that it? Is that this one done? Yeah, job done. Job done on that video. Uh, well, you want to see how to cook it, do you? Right. Um, we'll cook the pasta, and then when that's done, we'll be back, and we'll get on with the rest of it. Right. Pasta's on. Oh, spoony. Mm, baby spoony. Oh, Mrs. Spoony's there as well. Right, onions. Chilies going in. Chilies. Go wash in. Put these till the soft. So we'll give that a minute. All right, onion's done. That's not burnt, it's caramelised. There's a difference. When I do it, it's caramelised. When you do it, it's burnt. Yeah, because say, if I'd have done it, they'd have been burnt. Yeah, but you're doing the black. I like the taste. Black onions. Sizzle. Sizzle, me schnizzle. Weren't that off a record? Something, me schnizzle. I don't know, it sounds like a kids cartoon program. Sizzle my sneezel. And if you got cheese, give it a frizzle. <laughs> Go up a bit now. This don't take long. You're not looking for the glaze. Not with the bolognese. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Poet didn't know it. Right. I can, you'll make me sneeze. You'll make me sneeze. Right. What we're going to do. Got up that in. Good tablespoon. 
dummy puree. So that then. Same as you do with the packs, but it's not as it's not even complicated when you do the packs, is it? But, so I'll just shut up and carry on. Kiana? Yeah. Will you be quiet for five minutes? Ignoring you? I'm going to turn that up. You already did. To full. Oh. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because we're going to add the peppers in. Cook them a minute or two. And we'll add the dummy martyrs. And then that's that bit done. Ready. Whacking in the dish. Mmm. Just nice. Boggy days. Mm. Right, here are the Tommies. Now we don't need a lot of water in here because we don't want it too runny. What is it? Past the bait. Well, no, the pasta's cooked. A lot of pasta bakes, you put it in with the pasta raw. Aye. And then it soaks up the juice. This is quicker. So, so. Just a little bit. That was only a little bit. Pepper. Ah, can I look to that? Right, so we're now going to let that cook for a bit just to thicken. We'll drain the pasta and then we'll come back and we'll whack it all in the dish. Right, pasta's done and drained. fingers you said maybe not oh, leave it at that we might not need all of these but we can do a chuck it dinner um savloy oi oi savloy sausages chopped sliced um they're going in we'll put them in now shall we so they're mixed in i don't think we'll need all of these either I think that I'll do. Oh, Zeus will be happy. Think there's enough in there? Yeah. So we've got leftovers, and you're going to see another quick recipe what you're doing with the leftovers on the savloys, isn't you? Yep. Might as well use them up. Oh, take that, have a look. A little bit of orange skin and mist. Orange skin? Yeah. Savloy. Yeah. Peel. It is, but it's yeah. orange. Said it I know it is. Uh, right, now before we put that in, I'm going to add one to start with as a fromage fray. Because I just want to add a bit of richness to this sauce as well. That's one tablespoon. Mm. Look at that, just adds a bit of creaminess. I think one more will do. And obviously, not as sickly and not as bad for you as cream. Hmm. Smells nice. Good. All right. Well, we'll sprinkle a few herbs now and we'll mix them in. Herbs. The huh? Herbs. 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 The Americans don't pronounce the H either. I don't think. Sure, when I've seen a pro, they say herbs. Put the herbs in. Although that sounded like Cornwall. What oh, those <laughs> herbs? I got herbs. Would you like some herbs on your harvester? <laughs> Who sang that? 
I don't know. Oh, you got a brand new car on my hand, is there? But you can't remember. I can remember the bloke, but I don't know what his name was. Oh, come on, drop your comments. Who was it? I know. Where's all gummage? No. <laughs> You're closer. Oh. <laughs> One thing I didn't tell you what we're doing over the top is putting some grated cheese on as well. I'm a lazy devil, do you know if that was me I'd have just boiled it a bit longer, mixed the cooked pasta in and ate it. <laughs> it's half of the fun pulling it all together. Oh no. It's effort. So there yeah. you go now, we've got some, we've got all that left, but I don't think we want it too sloppy, do we? Would you want oh, it more? Oh, runny? Yeah, I'd rather have it a bit runnier. Well, all of it? Yeah, just chuck it in. That's down to your own preference. Some don't like a lot of sauce. Some like it swimming in it. Now, from our tray, we'll just add creaminess and richness to it without making it too sickly. That better for you? Yes. And that's that. Next. More herbs. Ain't none of that yucky sage in there, is there? No, it's oregano and parsley. I like oregano, that's okay. I did say, didn't I? Yeah, I think you did. Right at the beginning, I've forgotten since then. Forgot what? Exactly. Right. Right, jeez. There's a few do it the right way around, isn't it? <laughs> we don't want shed loads. That makes a change for you. Just a lot. Cheesy, cheesy. This will help the pasta stop going crunchy, won't it, as well? Well, I'm hoping the cheese is going to go a bit crispy on top. As I always say, we need another grater. <laughs> Don't like replacing one when it works, though. It's the only one we've had that hasn't broken, so. And that, I think, will do. See that big bit just flew off? I don't know, but right up this corner. There. Here. Got him. Yep. I think that's enough now. Yeah. Okay. That's going in the oven at 600 degrees. So it'll be cooked before I open the door. Right, 200. What? You're an idiot. Scratting's out. Look. These Zeusy fodder. Yep. Oh, I met Zeus a little. <laughs> Zeus is got a little dinky little fella. Cheese dog. <laughs> right. So we're going to put that in and we'll tell you how long it took, we'll come back, see what it looks like and more importantly, what it tastes like. Mmm, see you in a moment. Look at that. Bring it over here then. Sizzling. How long did it take? It's alright, uh, 25 minutes. So let's dish it up. Could have left it a bit longer if you want, look these darker bits, because that cheese will go darker as well. Yeah, we don't want the pasta to go too crunchy. I know from experience. It's inedible. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. oh, really should cut it first. Oh, that sausage is getting away. Growing legs. Yeah, it's sizzling. Do you look? It didn't need, or it did need rather, that little bit of extra juice. Yeah. All right, there's your pasta bake. Looking now, good. We better go and try it. Right there. Let's dive in. <laughs> you got all of that in there, look. 
which by rights is enough for one person. I know you're going to double up on that, but there's enough there for four people. Um, you have garlic bread with it, it might do a few more. What would Kevin say? I will love it. Ooh, mm. chilli's coming through. It's nice. The chilli's all going to be out because they've been in the fridge two weeks. Leave them in the fridge, in the bag, in a paper bag so they don't sweat and the, the heat comes out as they start to dry out a bit. I'm going to try pepper and the sausage. Hmm. No. That bolognese pack with the extra herbs in there just lifts it, doesn't it? Mm. So they're just putting garlic and stuff in. Mm. You know, them sausages or saveloys, they're really nice. They're kind of smoky in it. You can't taste that so much when you have them as they are. Mm. There is smoke paprika in the bolognese pack though as well. Mm. So that'll come through a bit. Yeah. Not a lot, but not a lot. Pretty little. Now that is nice. Mm, it's really nice. I'm not eating anymore because I won't eat the tea. Just that. Probably a bit more. Another spoon. Some fresh crusty bread or garlic bread. Mm. Four people. Easy. Maybe even a bit left over for one of you for dinner. Yeah. That's really yeah. nice. That tomato. Be those herbs the extra fresh herbs herbs just lifted it enough on the bolognese to give it carry it through all the sausage mm. and everything it's nice very good you could if you want instead of the peppers because some people don't like peppers assuming you like other veg uh broccoli yeah it'd be nice in it small florets of bro broccoli because say it he's now good. heard sausage oh i like sausage dad it's too hot it's um so yeah, you could put that, you could put a bit of cauliflower in there, it wouldn't hurt. Um, just some sort of veg or carrots chopped up in it. Everybody likes carrots, don't they? Love it. Mate, you see in the dark. Apparently. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. Yep. Thumbs up. And it is quick and easy. It's long-winded when we do it, because they're all the filming and different bits. But basically, boil your pasta, make the bolognese pack. Put your peppers in, your sausage if you're using them, or you could put bacon if you want, whatever meat, mince if you want to do it with mince. Meatballs. Uh, meatballs, yeah, be nice in it. Wang it in the bowl, mix it all up, great cheese on top, in the oven, job done. Even you could do that. Yeah, I could, yeah. You still got scrap. Well, you've been, you've been fighting with. I've been gardening and I've bent down and I've bashed my snod on something. Did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're done. Try and see. Another one, another one, another lockdown, quick and easy recipe. See you in a bit. See you later.